Hey yeah. guys. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello, hello. hello. Right. I just need y'all to peep this natural skin glow. I need y'all to peep it's it. Fake. No, no. There's no makeup on my skin, y'all. There is no makeup on my skin right so now. You're not eating meat. I need y'all to look at this glow. It's like, it like I airbrushed this part, no? Yeah. I mean, there's no highlight. This is grease, honey. On camera, I look nice, but you sitting close to me, you look shot. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't shit. I look shot. Like, you all ashy over here and shit. <laughs> I'm not ashy. Nah, I'm just you joking. play so much. I'm always fuck her up. Okay, um. Yeah, what's good, y'all? Okay, so this is Vlogtober Day 5. Did we just upload a video yesterday? Yes. You know Vlogtober is vlogging every day oh. of October. Nobody got time for that. Yeah, clearly we don't. <laughs> and we're obviously behind. What I'm trying to do is pump out 10 of these videos this month. So we're, it's not going to be every day. It's not going to be every other day. Probably not. She works a lot. So what we're going to do is try to... Well, my personal plan is for us to pump out... 10 vlogtober vlogs if y'all haven't watched the first four y'all can do that after y'all finish this one just go check those out check it out yes so um i need y'all to look forward to oh it's monday morning so we're gonna discuss marriage monday sure. um but i need y'all to um this one here got a ghana tag coming so i need y'all to i need y'all to it's so good and it's by herself she did it by herself all right um, and she talks about Ghana. If y'all, uh, there's a lot of Ghanaians that follow us, so y'all probably know there's a Ghana tag going around YouTube. But when I found it and when we saw it, I was like, okay, my baby got to do it. So she did it, and it's such a cool vlog. It, I think it's like 20 minutes long. Yeah. And she talks about it, talking in her language. It's like so cool. So cool. So y'all got to check it out. Um, but right now, we're going to talk Marriage Monday. <sighs> so, marriage. Okay. Um, what was, what's up with marriage? Or our marriage. We hit a rough patch. Yes, we did. Of us miscommunication. Yeah. And we got over it. Yeah. We didn't we didn't get over it though. We got through it. And we that was the it. most difficult part. Yeah. Um so we were both telling like our friends, because I have friends and she has friends. Well my friends' girlfriends are her friends. So we both group chat them and we were just expressing to them our frustrations and then um, it wound up becoming bigger than it is, but it was all because we miscommunicated. Now, I feel like that's so crazy because me as a person who gives advice to a lot of couples, um, I always stress communication and I always thought that's what we were doing and that's where we were going. Like I, I, I don't want a failed marriage. I don't want a marriage that's unhealthy. I need it to be a happy, healthy marriage because I don't see a lot of those. I don't know who to look up to for those. Um, I have to create our own, you know, and when we decided to get married, we decided that divorce wasn't an option, um, which means that we have to get through our issues. This was kind of like our biggest issue since we've been married. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. um, and it was pretty difficult. And... Again, it was because of miscommunication. No one cheated. No one lied. No one betrayed. It was a miscommunication between us. And not really a miscommunication, but a lack of communication. We weren't being completely honest with each other about our frustrations in the marriage, in our relationship. So, um... Ugh. Okay, so... How did we get through it? Well, you tired from talking from your... your, your we just... We communicate we got through the communication and just opening up and just well no first it was a, it was a uh it was like different stages so the first stage was anger mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. both upset yeah and when we upset we say things we upset we do things so we was upset we was upset with each other we didn't want to be around each other we didn't want to just here's the thing you're allowed to be upset and be in your feelings you have, you allowed to have that moment i don't want people to think that you know, you frustrated about something and you don't agree and you got to be like, okay, let's agree to disagree. Let's communicate, communicate, communicate. It's not going to be that. It's, you're going to be upset. Y'all pissed off at each other. You know, how do we get here and what the fuck is the problem? I don't want to do this. If this is what marriage is, I don't want nothing to do with it. You know, you have those moments. Um, and then, you know, that passes. And then you're like, 
well, we ain't trying to talk divorce. You know, we ain't, we're not trying to not be together. But that's how you were feeling, though. Yeah, that's exactly how I was feeling. I was so, I was so upset. Well, why is it every time we argue, that's the only thing, that's your only way out? What'd I say? Divorce. That's a lie. Yeah, you do. You be, you don't say divorce. But I, be yeah, like, I don't oh. bring up divorce, but I just... You be like, oh, you gotta get out. I say that every time we argue, or I said that this argument, which was the biggest one we've yeah, had since we've been one. married. I'm, oh, I'm talking about when we used to be in a relationship. Yeah, when we used to be in a relationship, like, yeah, well, hell yeah, we kicking you out every day. Yeah, this, I think this is the first, like, big argument. Big we've argument had. we've had since we've been married. We've been... Okay, I need y'all to take a moment. We won't, we were about to be together five years, married two. Okay? Seven years. No. <laughs> Out of the five years being together, we're going to be married too. Oh, you got to add that seven. No, it's not seven. This is going to be my longest relationship, and I'm the relationship person. You know, I'm the one who's been in the three-year, three-year, four-year. And I've been, I'm about yeah, to be with this. Yeah, the trashy relationship. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's enough. And I'm about to be with this one for five years and married for two. That's um a big deal. Yeah, you're mad. <laughs> no one's... Mad, babe. Oh, they were at your chest feet. All your fucking groupies and hoes. Babe, can you stop? Can you not? I this is supposed fuck. to be marriage Monday. Yes, yeah, it's, it's marriage. It's part of being marriage. Getting over. Getting true, right? <laughs> Getting true, right? Okay. <laughs> now, nah, let me stop. But yeah, it was it was a rough patch. Like, I had to take a day. Mind you, this one over here. This one over here. Never called out of work, okay? Never. When I call out of work, you know, it's a bad down situation because you got everybody. I in have the job to be dead for her to call out. I've been in a hospital when she's went to work. You have to be dead, really, though? Babe, you don't call out. I was sick in a hospital, and you still was like, I got to go to work. Yeah, I had to go to work and come back. You was all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's not okay. That That's is a, not I'm, okay. I've learned from that, though. Yeah, because the oh, whole bitch was upset, boy. Oh, hoo, hoo. oh, hoo. I think I tortured you for a good week. You what? I think I tortured you for a good week. Yeah. I ain't make that easy. <laughs> I be telling my friends, like, listen, if there's something in a, in a relationship that happens and you are, like, not with it at all or you think that shit is completely not cool or not accepted, you have to be dramatic. And not, like, put on a front, like, not, like, pretend to be dramatic, but not. you have to allow them to think. You have to let them know that's not okay. Like, that's not what we're about to do here. I feel like people who get cheated on repeatedly is because they're allowed. They allow their spouse to. I'm sorry. Mm. You not... if Because if your spouse knew that that's not something you accept and that shit is not going down, then they wouldn't do it. Period. They got to know that that's not a fucking option. That's not what we're doing here. That's not what this is about to be. Because <laughs> if it is, it's going to be open relationship around here, but Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Because she said to me yesterday, man, everybody gets cheated on and they stay. No, I didn't say I that. I might as I well say, cheat too. I said Beyonce... <laughs> I said Beyonce forgave her Jay-Z twice. So if I cheat, I expect your ass because you look no, up to the mother. No, no. First of all, she's mother. That's so, one. But I'm not mother. <laughs> so why are you still following her? Like I can fuck? love mother for the amazing things she do for, as a black woman. Hello? What she is as a wife has nothing to do with who the fuck she is as a black woman. And the moves she make out here. I mean, don't 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 stop me with mother, okay? We ain't about to name, do that. Name three, name five women who cheated and left. I don't, I don't know a many. Shawnee, I don't know many. Shawnee, all right? Shawnee O'Neal, but she, of course, she left after things was so bad. Mm. Yeah, but I, that's his. That's the sad part, is that it is highly acceptable. It's becoming highly acceptable. We're seeing it on every reality show. In real life, we're seeing people go through it. We're seeing it, and it is disgusting to me. I'm not teaching my children or anybody who looks up to me that that's okay, because it's not. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't believe that's what marriage is supposed to be about. It's not what a relationship is supposed to be about, but it's definitely not what a marriage is supposed to be about. I'm, I'm old school. Marriage is marriage, boo. And if I want to, and if I want us to build the foundation of children of morals, and they go to school, they go into college, and they want to be... They want to date at 16, 17. They have to, the boy has to come to the house and ask us permission. All that. That's how I'm raising my... I'm old school. I'm not going with the wave of the generation. Mm-mm. True. Okay, so what we saying? We got sidetracked. Okay, so yeah, we good through a stage of like being upset 
and being angry at each other and then you know all your friends is like y'all bugging the fuck out y'all married y'all gotta work it out you ain't got no choice you know and it's like okay you're right we don't i mean i still think you're the cutest shit ever so uh, i don't want to not be with you look at this Your smile is like incredible. It's called the African crisp. You got like really white teeth. And look at your skin color. If I was an artist, I'd paint you. <laughs> you gay. You're so cute. And the dreads, like you just. Stop getting sidetracked. You just so you package nicely. Yeah, but last night you didn't want to fuck me though. Whoa! Why would you say that on YouTube? I don't fuck because you I were fell asleep. <laughs> I fell asleep. This, it's not that I didn't want to. I fell asleep. I was tired. And the day before, too? I was sleepy, too. Why is she going to sleep naked at night? Expect no panties on her But are we forgetting that we did it three times in three different nights? Three different rows? Three rows. We, no, three you, nights in a row. Was, she was fucking raping me, first of all. Oh, oh, now it's rape. Because you was yeah. like, I need a break. <laughs> I thought I was going to say that. Oh, word. <laughs> I was oh. like round four. She was like, I think I need a break. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. You gonna say this on YouTube? <laughs> Fuck out of here. I'm fucking with you no more. We ain't cool no more. We ain't cool. Yo, you're on the timeout. I said, Z, you need a break from little old me. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, heaven, you spill okay. No, 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 okay. Now I'm gonna spill some next no, no, next block. No, no, no. Nah, if block. I do it right now, it'll be too shady. I'm gonna come with you Rita. sideways. Why? It's the truth. You up there put my business out this small. I I I didn't want to give you nothing. I had to give you a break, a breathing, a breather. So you know okay. get your get your energy back up, honey. Okay. We're gonna need a, a a pack of red bull in this motherfucker. Oh, that's how you feeling? Mm -hmm. We've been Oh, that's the last stage, the re the making up part. But anyway, yeah, so you angry. That's the first stage. And the second stage is to talk it out. And what we did was we were able to um, sit somewhere that was... Put everything. Yep. Yeah, we put every... It took, a, it took a while for me to, like, just listen. But we live together. We can't ignore each other for too long. We're, we live in the same... We sleep in the same bed. That's real unhealthy, you know? When you know you live in you're such in close quarters and you're not speaking, and then that's your best friend. That's who you text every day and say good morning to and kiss. So when you're not doing that, it kind of it feels off. And we don't have that luxury. We don't have that option to separate and give each other breathing room. We up under each other. So, um, yeah. So we finally sat down. I think the next day, she called out, which she never does. She called out and was like, "Okay, we need to speak. We need to fix this." So that's what we did. We sat outside where it was pretty and it felt good outside. It was a nice weather day. And um, we just spilled it all, right? Mm -hmm. About how we feel, why we didn't say it to each other. And I think it, I think the majority of it was because we didn't want to hurt each other's feelings or whatever the case it was. And um, we got it all out. And, we, and then we were able to get it all out, say, okay, we understand. What are we gonna do different from now on? And that's yeah. the way that worked. True. And we promised to not, you know, get there again. But I'm sure we will. But we know that we know that if if we know that we can get through something like that by speaking, you know, by communicating, then we're okay. Mm. And then you start. Well, me, we felt like our marriage renewed. Yeah. One thing about the communication part is like. You cannot keep something away from someone because you're scared it's gonna hurt their feelings. Let them hurt, let it hurt their feelings because that's how you truly feel. You and know? it'll hurt more if it comes out in a negative way. Yeah. So just because you not she's not telling me how she she feels because she don't want to hurt my feelings, that doesn't stop her feeling that way. Yeah. She's still gonna feel that way. If anything, it's worse because she's now harboring it. So it's building. And I have no idea. So now it does spill up, but it spills up in such a angry way because she never let it out when it, she was feeling that way. So I, so we, so it's this thing we say from we got from a movie called No Matter How Ugly or Uncomfortable, we're gonna be honest with each other. No matter how ugly or uncomfortable, the moment we feel it, right? So we don't allow it to build up. Yeah. True shit. Um, and since then we've been on top of each other. Yeah. 
because now we're in a making up phase. Uh, like I said, our marriage felt renewed. Mm-hmm. If like we we didn't even want to wear our rings anymore. We wanted to like get new rings, and we still are. But um, it just felt like the marriage we had before. I don't know. I felt like the conversation we had that day mm-hmm. should have been had when we got well, married. Right, yeah. So the conversation made us feel like we had renewed our vows. We yeah. had a better understanding. Or the understanding other. we should have had when we were married, right? And she know how I feel. Like, she, she's making life easier for me now. Like, she's talking to me. She's being a wife. I'm not saying she's not being a wife, but she's being so in tune with, with me. Like, she'll ask me if you're tired. We don't have to do it. Like, we used to do stuff every day on my day up. Now we just be in the house, you know, cooking, chefing, and she'll cook for me. We'll find a movie. We'll watch a movie. It's like, now... It's not you have to do is you have to do it. It's like can you do it? Like how do you feel about doing it? It's more about how I feel. Cause sometimes it's a lot of shit that she wants me to do and I don't want to do it. So when I do it, it's like out of anger. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. like me doing this video is natural. Like I wanted to do this video because yesterday we talked about it and we was this video was gonna be <laughs> done today. No matter where the video would have been done, it would have been done. It's not like, you know, when I'm tired, she understands me. She gives me a massage. She asks me, what do I want to eat? She's making my breakfast. It was just, oh, I have to because she don't feel like it. So it was right. like, I'll get angry and just go get it in, like, in my head. Like, I'll just be thinking, damn, like, so she's not going to do it. So it's like, and, I, and, I, and one of the things in the conversation that we had was me admitting that I'm a bit spoiled. And that I have become a lot more spoiled since we've been together. I think she spoils me a lot. And then I I think when you're in a relationship and you get spoiled, you tend to realize that, okay. It's a must pattern. Like yeah, pattern it starts to pattern, become like right? the spoiled. It starts to become like mandatory. And then it's like, okay. You know, so um, I think it's hard to, sometimes it's hard to break out of the habit. Which I've been able to do. Like, you know, she just does things without thinking about it every day. So when she does that. You think, I ain't got to do it, you know? And you start to be comfortable with it, not even thinking that maybe she doesn't want to do it and she don't want to be, you know, mm-hmm. the one that does it all the time neither. So, yeah, I've taken on some some of those things. But, um, yeah, it's no secret. She works more than me. What you doing? Taking this off your face. What? Yeah, she works more than me, so... Sometimes that's a challenge. Well, it was. She's learning how to balance, like... I feel like physically I've been tired on her. Mentally, she's tired. Right. So, it's like, I was working 40 hours, 45 hours a week, and my days of I was shooting. Yeah, so which is like, crazy. It was, it was... And then coming home, listening to her, cooking, <laughs> making sure everything's good. I was like, cha. Yeah, and it became overwhelming and too much, <laughs> which is why I said, well, I can't turn off being, you, you being in a marriage. I can't turn that off. So you have to learn how to balance it. And I need to make it easier for you. I now have two friends that I'm able to talk their ears off. So I don't have to do that every two seconds with you. Not talk my ear off. Yeah, I used to talk your ear off. It's okay. You you used to do that. You can be honest. No, you used to talk my ear off. I'm not saying don't tell me nothing. At least tell me something. But not. Like, after a long day, like, when I close and I come home and, you know, sometimes she has no one to talk to. So she has to tell me. You sit there and talk for like an hour and then before I want to watch anything, I'm already done. Like, Aww. I'm fried. I want to go to sleep. So, it's not like I don't want to spend time with her. I don't want to watch nothing. But You're I'm just tired from work. Physically, you know. So, have have we gotten better since the conversation? Hell yeah. Yeah? Hell yeah. So, have we gotten progress? Yeah, now I can't wait to come home. Now, it's like, it like... Now, she calls me. She always called me at work, but now she calls me more often. Yeah. You know, now she's... I'm I'm giving her her space. Well, cause I'm busy. Now yeah. I got now I got shit to do. Mm-hmm. But my little. Yeah, I scenes. think we're in the best friend mode when I'm at work. Cause we call each other, laugh at people, gossip. Yeah. You know, talk about what's going on and all stuff, stuff. It's good. Yeah. She I just, like it. She just planned my birthday, low key. So we're waiting for that. Her birthday coming up, Scorpio season. Hey, I ain't never repped another damn season. That's how you know. You got me. You never rub your exit season. No. For oh. what? I never read my exes season. You ain't had no exes, babe. <laughs> I had an ex. I had an ex. You done? Yes. Okay, that's the end of Marriage Mondays. Um, My lips are purple. Yeah. No, that's... <laughs> what?
Mas acho que é convidante. E... Eu square mouth. Babe, we done? We're done. Okay. I'm going back to sleep. All right. 20 minute vlog for y'all. This is Vlogtober Day 5, I believe. And this is Marriage Monday. This is what we're talking about. How we got through a rough patch that we just had. Screw, screw. And we're good. You know? That's what happens in relationships and marriages. Yeah, we had a chill day yesterday. Oh, it was so good. We didn't plan nothing. We didn't plan nothing. Nope. It just, it, everything was just flowing. She came to meet me up at my photo shoot before she was done. We did brunch, came home. Watch, she she put on a funny movie for me. It was a guitar. Oh, Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday. I never that seen was so that. good. I don't know about it. She was singing all the songs. I'm like, bitch, how the hell you know this? She's I like, used to watch it a lot when I was younger. Yeah, what should I eat? Some seafood? It was just chill, wasn't it? We Things was just flowing. I don't know. It seemed like we are just. There's some liquor, we took a shower, and she didn't give me some. That's how the day ended. I'm sorry, booby. I was sleepy. <laughs> I was sleepy. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got so you sleepy. tonight, though. Avocado. I got you tonight. Please. I got you tonight. We, it was, babe, we've been sore. We fucking so much that we were sore. You were sore. You were sore, too. I love you. I know that. Okay, we out. If y'all want us to keep talking about Marriage Monday topics, y'all can let us know. We'll try to do more for y'all. Again, we're going to try to do 10 October, so we have five. We got five more to go before October ends. Oh, and what should we dress up as for Halloween? And are y'all dressing up for Halloween? What's Hello. the couple ideas below? I want to dress up like Aaliyah, but I don't want her to do Dame Dash, you know? <laughs> And you know Beyonce and Jay Z be cool, but that's too often. So what other what couple Halloween couple ideas y'all got below? Let us know. Like this, you know. Like, subscribe, share, blah, blue, blah, ding. You already know. That's what we do. Bah, bang, bang, bang. And watch my baby's gonna tag coming next. Gang, gang, gang. Have a good week, y'all.